Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day you die, you gon' touch the sky. You gon' touch the sky, baby girl. Testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. My name is Alexa Monet. On this channel, I do lifestyle, plus size, fashion and design, crochet tutorials, and anything else I think you might enjoy. If you're interested in any of those things, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what's in my hospital bag for baby number four. Yes baby number four so I've been there and done that so I kind of know what I need and what I don't need but this time around I have a doula so my doula part of her doula package is that she provides a hospital bag and this hospital bag comes fully loaded with everything that you need it's from the company llama mama y'all this bag is so cute let me show y'all oh my god <laughs> This is such a cute bag and it says mama. It's so cute and it's heavy cause it's so much stuff in there. Like <laughs> it's so much stuff in there. I did add a few things. So I'm also gonna show y'all the things that I added. But first I'm just gonna show you everything that came inside of it. Um, I didn't necessarily look at every single thing. I just kind of opened it, looked around and then I was like, I wanna record a video about it. so. I don't wanna, you know, look at every single thing in there. So the first thing in this bag is, and I'm also gonna talk about like why you need these things and why you don't, or if anything is in there that you don't necessarily need, I'll let you know too, um, or that I feel like I wouldn't have packed. So this is a little pouch. It has body wash, shampoo, says diaper rash cream, you don't necessarily need diaper rash cream at the hospital. Um, diaper area wash. That's cute. Not cute, but that's good to have. Okay, this is baby wash and shampoo. And baby massage oil. Oh, this is really cute. Now, the two things I would say you might want to take is the shampoo and the massage oil i'm not familiar with this company so i would look into it but it does say vegan um organic content 72 percent organic plant-based made in the usa no added sulfates parabens parabens dyes or phthalates so i would say that like if you're a person who like me want to use products that are closer to natural as close as natural as you can i would say that you might want to have two products like this you could take this but the hospital will provide baby wash and stuff like that for the baby while they're there the hospital will usually in my experience they will give the baby their first bath too and show you some tips and techniques the diaper area wash um i've never used like specifically diaper area wash so from what I'm seeing, it says the follow-up with the diaper rash cream. So I guess if your baby has diaper rash, this is what you would use. You won't need that. Um, and you won't need diaper rash cream at the hospital. So I am going to take the things out that I don't need right now. And I'm going to switch these things to my diaper bag. Because these are things that would be good to have in my diaper bag. We're just going to put that out of this bag for now. Because I do want to make it lighter if I can. As lightweight as possible. Because... It's, it came, it's really heavy, which is good. Like, it comes with tons of stuff. Like, and I like that they have things in there also that you can use outside of the hospital like that. Like, you can also use that for your baby after the baby is born. Okay, so we have the Honey Pot Company Calming Lavender Rose Panty Spray. And it doesn't say organic on it. I know their products used to say organic. It doesn't say that. I know that was a problem for a lot of people that they don't say organic anymore. I would still use this product. I don't like lavender, but this is lavender rose. Um, I don't know if I like the scent. That's not a big deal to me. But I will say I don't know if when this is supposed to be used for because but also you'll want to use like witch hazel and things like that. I don't think any of that is in here. So I don't know if I'm going to take this with me. I think I'm going to use this when I get back home too. What's in here? I don't think I looked to see what was in here. So this is a little pink pouch that's in there. Let's see. 
a mask that's good to have a toothbrush a bamboo toothbrush definitely need that um shampoo i'm not washing my hair at the hospital um pain relief roll on instant cooling upper back and shoulder knees back and neck lower back hmm i've never used anything like this i don't know if this is necessary but i'm gonna bring it oh native deodorant i actually use native deodorant cucumber mint um that's great i use this is the brand that i use so awesome nipple balm this is lanolin free nipple balm which i thought most nipple balms were made out of lanolin maybe some people are allergic but I also have some lanolin from my doula that she gave me. And that's probably what I'm going to use because I've always used lanolin. I don't have any issues with it. This has a lot of other ingredients in it that I don't know if I want to introduce to the baby. Because I am going to be nursing. I do feel like using something like this that has a lot of different ingredients in it might not be what's best um, for a newborn. But... Um, I do recommend having some kind of nipple cream if you intend to nurse and then conditioner but like I said I'm not washing my hair at the hospital if you're a person that you think you're gonna end up washing your hair then you do want to have something like that but I'm not washing my hair at the hospital I have my hair in twists already because y'all I don't even think I mentioned at the beginning of this video I'm at the point where I can have this baby anytime like right now like today so so yeah you definitely need toothbrush toothpaste all that stuff deodorant you are going to need that stuff so that is great so so far we have shampoo conditioner toothbrush toothpaste basically hygiene items that we are definitely going to be putting in our hospital bag i think i explained this in a different video which you may or may not have watched i don't wear shoes in my house so i don't have shoes anywhere but downstairs in my closet and every time i want to talk to y'all about shoes i don't have them with me <laughs> but Another thing, also talking about hygiene and stuff, when you take a shower at the hospital, you want to have like shower shoes. So I, my shower shoes that I'm plan on, planning on taking, they're downstairs in the closet, so I don't have them right now, but they're definitely going in my hospital bag because I want to have shower shoes on. You don't need socks. They will give you socks at the hospital, and that's usually what I wear to walk around the room um, or down the hall, whatever, stuff like that. The socks that they give me, and then... <laughs> So I'll ask for an extra pair, and then I'll wear a pair in the bed, and then wear a pair to walk around the room. Oh, a onesie. I also have, which I'll show y'all later, I have the newborn outfit that I plan on putting on the baby. But this is nice, and a onesie I can have <laughs> for when he gets home. And yes, it's a he. He'll be here by the time y'all see this video. Oh, wait, I think these are nipple pads. Oh, okay, these are nipple pads. Oh, yeah, I'm taking these too. These, they will go like in your bra so that you can, um, le like when you're leaking breast milk, you can put these in your bra and it'll catch the milk, which can happen when you start to get engorged and your milk is coming in, the baby hasn't drank it, or you know, you're not around the baby, um, or you hear the baby crying, like your milk can just leak. So yeah, instead of having like a wet spot on your chest, You'll use these. I will have this in the bag also. Next is warm and cool breast packs. Helps relieve mastitis, plug ducts, and encourages milk let down. And it says use warm to encourage milk while pumping. So I'm going to open this, take this out of the pack because, like, this is a pretty big box to have in the bin there. But I will use this for what it said to use with pumping to encourage milk while pumping and to encourage milk let down so i would use it warm okay and it comes with a cover for the pack here are the um gel um cooling packs oh this is so good this is great to have oh okay I like this yes also what I like too is that there are things in the bag I probably wouldn't have thought of I would have thought of this but this is going to be helpful next oh 
a changing pad. I don't, you're not going to need this at the hospital either. Um, I would definitely, I mean, you could use a changing pad at the hospital, but if anything, like, <laughs> gets soiled, they're going to clean it, so, like, they're just going to put it in the wash, so, I wouldn't necessarily take this to the hospital and use it at that time. I would save this from when you're, like, going somewhere out and about with the baby, but this is so pretty, and I had one this same color on my registry on Amazon, so now I have one that I really want. Like, this is one of my favorite colors. Um... I have on a shirt this color. <laughs> the bag is this color, which is one of the reasons I'm obsessed with the bag. So I'm not going to put this in my hospital bag, but we are gonna keep that for sure. Well, I'm keeping everything. I don't waste nothing. Oh! Oh, this is great, y'all. This is great, y'all. <laughs> this is an outfit. So at the hospital, of course, they're going to give you your hospital gown and that's pretty much what you need to wear because they check you, things like that. So it's best to just wear the gown. It's also very easy to breastfeed using the gown that they give you. But this, because I was like thinking, I was thinking about this earlier. I was like, oh yeah, I need to pack something to leave the hospital in. And now I have something to leave the hospital in. It is my size. So I'm really loving it it's just a black um kind of like a pajama set but um it doesn't really say anything it just says llama llama company but oh my god i love that that is great definitely need this in the hospital bag and a going home outfit for you and the baby <laughs> honey pot pads now i don't want to open these i don't open i don't want to open them until i get there but these are postpartum pads. They're herbal infused pads with wings, mint, lavender, aloe, plant derived feminine care. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of freezing, like, what are they, what are they calling them? They're calling them like pad popsicles or something like that. But basically you're freezing them so that, sorry, my camera cut off. Basically you're freezing them. Well, I never did this before. I just heard about it. Um, but people, so it has instructions on here how to do it, but you can spray with water or witch hazel, wrap in parchment paper, freeze them for four hours and apply pads to panties. And then it has a soothing, cooling feeling right in your underwear. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. I won't be able to do that at the hospital. So I'm not going to bring these. What I am going to bring is some overnight pads so i don't think i'm going to pack these in my hospital bag because i'm not going to have access to a freezer um i definitely want to do this when i get back home I'm gonna or i might even create these before i ever go into the hospital so that when i get home i can use the frozen ones um there's only 12 in this pack so i don't want to waste them and use them at the hospital and they're not frozen i want to use these for the pad popsicles portable bidet this also came in the honey pot i mean honey pot this also came in the llama mama bag so this they're going to give you one of these but this is really good because it has the curving tube like can you see the top part it curves the one they give you in the hospital unless it's changed in the last couple years it's just a spray bottle and you have to like put it up there angle it but this basically will angle itself and that's great you see that you can angle it i'm going to um take this for sure and use this because they don't care if you use your own portable bidet excuse me i have heartburn heartburn oh my god drink my water and it's gonna make it worse but let me drink my water the next thing i'm not gonna show y'all but i'm also going to be packing underwear the hospital may or may not have a problem with you wearing your own underwear the hospital underwear is ugh, oh <laughs> i don't like the hospital underwear at all so i'm not trying to use theirs if i can avoid it so 
like I said, I'm not showing y'all my underwear, but I also have underwear in there. Another thing I'm going to be taking is my pumping bra. Um, this is to keep the flanges in. If you're pumping, you're going to need one of those. I'm going to use the hospital pump. I'm not going to take my own pump to the hospital. Um, there's really no reason to. They have a pump at the hospital. And honestly, y'all, I think that's everything if i forgot anything that i plan to take i will put it in the description bar i think i went over everything um y'all i'm obsessed with this bag i'm obsessed with it this is going to be a travel bag for me i also love um <laughs> i just think it's so cute that it says mama on it um so yeah i just whew, and it's such a good size I'm just, oh my God. I can't wait to use it a time I'm not at the hospital. Like I can't wait to use it in the airport or something. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that if you are a first time mom or not, or you just are a mom that's about to go in the hospital, have a baby. I just hope that you got some good tips out of this video and that you are prepared. If you are about to go into labor anytime soon or down the line, just know everything's going to work out. It's going to be a beautiful experience and continue to tell yourself that every day. I can't wait to see y'all after I have the baby and introduce the baby to y'all. But yeah, I'm so excited. Actually, I hope I go into labor tonight. Anyways, I really appreciate each one of you for watching this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you had in your hospital bag that you didn't need or if you're going into labor for the first time let me know if there was anything in this video you were planning to take that you're like yeah i probably don't need that uh, but yeah thank you so much for watching bye